Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we will be harvesting some gemma from these pygmy drosera. Stick around. If you're new to this channel, this channel is dedicated to the care and cultivation of plants and more specifically carnivorous plants, just like this sundry over here. If that's what you're into, remember to subscribe and click on the notifications button so that you don't miss any of our weekly videos. Let's jump straight into it. So in today's video, we are going to be harvesting some gemma from these pygmy drosera. This one here is drosera pulchella, and you can see the pygmy's gemma in the middle. This is drosera rosiana with some gemmas that you can't see because they're so tiny. And this is drosera scorpiodes with huge gemma over here. And I'm going to be harvesting all of these plants gemma and giving them to some of my friends. So what you'll need to do this is some paper towel, a toothpick, some plastic bags to put the gemma into because you want it to be airtight, permanent marker and some scissors. So I'm just going to change the orientation so that you guys can see this better. I went to get this brick so I can hold up the tripod and and I found Lizzie. She's just chilling. Come on Lizzie. There you go. I have a whole family of lizards. Um on my roof where I grow my plants and so I see them all the time. And I know, that'll be okay. So I just got a squirty bottle uh, so that we can ensure that the paper towels are wet. And let's start off with the Drosera Scorpiodes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a square and I'm going to ensure that this paper towel doesn't fly away by sticking it basically onto the water that's on the deck here. And then sprinkle it a little bit because you don't want your gamma to dry out because the gamma dry out pretty quickly when they aren't on the plant. And now what you do, you want to take your toothpick, just wet the tip so that the gamma sticks onto the tip of the plant. And you want to be very careful when harvesting the gamma as they literally pop off the plant and fly away. So you want to carefully pull the gamma off. I'm not sure if you saw that one, but it literally popped off. And there it is there. So now you can pick it up with your hopefully stickier toothpick than mine. Try and with my hand, okay, there we go. And place it onto the top. <clears throat> so just continue this process until all of the gamma are harvested from your plant. Hmm. Remember I told you that they literally fly everywhere? Yeah, this one is now inside of the bucket that we're standing on. Just the gamma that flew all the way into the bucket. So this is a very difficult task. This is how it's supposed to work, but they're not trying to work with me, so.
bra. Come back. We rescued it. Jeez. Yo. Okay, I'm gonna go get a, a cotton cotton bud. Okay, got an earbud. Let's try it with the earbud. Maybe this one will actually be more sticky and more helpful. And holding water. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, so now let's hope that the tooth, the earbud will work. Oh, look at that, look how helpful that actually is. Like literally, thankfully. So let's see how many we have so far. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, okay. 16, 17, 18, 18, yeah, but to the rescue. That's basically all of them from this guy. And obviously you just want to ensure that you keep the plants separate. You don't want to mix up the gamma. Uh, else you will be very, very sad. So this is the Rosiana. Um, you can really not see them on camera because the gamma is so tiny. And he has to really be up close to see it. So I'm sorry if my head gets in the way. So there's the first of the Rosiana Gamma at the tip of the toothpick. Really super small. And if you can see, the gamma have already started to grow. Hopefully I can zoom in enough and you can see just the tip of it is starting to grow. And that just shows you how long I've had these gamma actually growing on the plant for. That they're growing even though they haven't been dispersed yet. So using this earbud really does help much more than using the toothpick, so actually use the earbud. So really the easiest way that I'm finding to see the gamma is to look at it from the side like this and look along the profile of the plant because the gamma like stick out like little bub um, bulbs. So if you can see them sticking out, it's much easier. I can't see it on the camera, but I'll zoom in and hopefully you'll be able to see at least one if I haven't taken it off yet. So it looks like most of these gamma are now gone. I've hopefully harvested as many as there are on this little colony. So let's see how many we ended up with. So we ended up with 62 from this little colony and I genuinely did not believe that I was going to get that many. Um, so that's good. Let's do this Drosera Pulchella now. So what I'm doing for this polchella is that I'm really just smacking <laughs> the crown and just picking up um, all the old gamma as well. 
So it's all these black dots, which is the old gamma, which has died. Because this plant has been producing gamma for me for ages, probably like two or three months now. Um, so that's why they, they have died out, but genuinely, I mean, the, I, I've given this plant also a new top soil layer because the other layer was full of moss. And even back then I had put some gamma down, but just shows you how old some of these gamma are. So this one looks pretty much finished as well. Let's see how many we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Uh, so that's less. I counted 24, that's less than what there actually is, but some of them I don't think will survive. So that's why I didn't count them, even though they are alive. But there's, there's definitely more than 20 there, so. Just shows you how many you can get from one plant. That's Pulchella done as well. And I'm gonna separate them out now into groups of 10. Now what I I'm gonna do, fold it up, just like that. Make sure it's nice and damp. Take a plastic bag like this, right there, Polcella. Let's do the rest. Kingdoms are withdrawn. Meet me at the cornerstone. I know that I can't be without you. This bond is solid gold. We're a diamond and an emerald. It took me forever to find you. Cause when it's all over, the love that you give will be there to guide you. So there we have it. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to click the like button and share it. And all these plants are going to new homes now. So thank you guys, bye. There we go, Lizzie. And have your home back.